Hi everyone, welcome back to Lavendera. So today I wanted to share my best tips for packing for travel, specifically packing for a carry-on and your backpack, whatever you're gonna bring on the plane with you. So I normally only like to pack a carry-on for my trips. This is gonna be a 10-day trip throughout London and Amsterdam. And last time I went on a two-week trip in Europe, I also packed a carry-on as well. If you haven't seen my previous packing videos, you can check it out here and here, or you can click the card in the upper right corner to watch those videos. But today I'm just gonna go into specifics on like my method of packing so my first tip is definitely fold things vertically the KonMari way so I have a lot of videos on how to fold the KonMari way if you want to check those out they're also linked below but basically fold them to the height of your suitcase so that when you put your clothes in everything will fit like right here to the rim and you can see all of your clothes at a glance this is a game changer for when you're traveling, living out of a suitcase, and you don't want to take things out. I always keep everything in my suitcase. I only unpack what I need to for that day. So this is my closet. This is what the closet looks like, and I just like being able to choose my outfits this way because I could see mostly everything. I did make an exception this time. Some things I packed horizontally because they're just so like flimsy. It just didn't work as well vertically, but yeah, for the flimsy leggings and random stuff I will pack normally but my main outfits I will pack vertically. Tip number two, have pouches for everything. I am a pouch girl. That sounds weird. Is that weird? But I literally love to have pouches to hold everything. I like to stay organized and categorize everything. So this is my pouch for socks and underwear. I also fold them vertically like this. I, I just put my mirror because I didn't want it to break. But yeah, I have underwear here and socks here. And I always pack extra because you never know. I have a pouch for makeup, a pouch for random tech accessories. So there's like chargers, adapters and stuff in here. And then I have like my toiletry pouch. Also in my backpack, I have like this pouch that I love where I keep like my iPad, my hard drive, and check this out. I have like a face mask I'm gonna wear in the airplane. So pouches for everything helps you stay super organized and I just can't do it any other way. My next tip is to transfer all of your large product into smaller containers. So I always like to save my little bottles from skincare or beauty products because I know I'm gonna use them again. So these are from like previous skincare things that I've used up, but I've transferred my Makeup Essence, which is this big one, into this small one here. And then here, because I think my foundation's a little too big, I transferred my foundation into this smaller container. So I think it's such a game changer. Plus, like, I got to mix another foundation in here so that it would better match my color, so yeah. My next tip is to save up all your sample size products or your travel size products for when you travel. So I don't usually use these little samples on the regular. I just bring them when I travel because they're tiny and I get to try new products and why not, you know? So I have like a couple primers here and then these are like some oils for my face that are sample size of my favorite products. My next tip is to use these toothbrush covers to bring your favorite toothbrush with you. I don't like to use travel toothbrushes because they're just like not good quality. So yeah, these covers I got from Daiso. They come in a pack of like six or eight. So yeah, I love them. It's just really hygienic, I think, and I really like it. My next tip is kind of obvious, but I know not everyone does this, so honestly, guys, put your shoes in a plastic bag when you travel so that the germs and the dirt don't get everywhere else in your luggage. I also like to bring a couple extra plastic bags to put all my dirty clothes in after I wear them. So the way I do it is I fold them up into little triangles, but when I'm in the hotel or Airbnb, when I have like dirty clothes, I will put them like on top of the plastic bag, kind of let them air out for a little bit. And then when I'm about to like pack up everything, I put everything in the plastic bag, seal it up and then go. Because I feel like if you immediately put it in the plastic while you're like still staying in a room, it just gets musty, musky, what's that? 
it will just smell more if you like seal it up and leave it there without like letting it air out a little bit that's just how i'm thinking in my head another tip i have when traveling is to scatter your cash throughout your bags because you don't want to keep all your money in one place because what if you get pickpocketed or something gets stolen you just want to have some backup so the way i do it is i always like hide cash in different pouches and different areas just in case you never know okay moving on to my backpack so my next tip is to make sure that if you want to get something while you're on the plane to put it in your purse or in the backpack that you will have right next to you. Don't put things in your carry-on luggage that will go in the overhead bin because if you want to get something, it's really annoying to like ask people to help you open it and whatever. So if I need to do something, for example, I'm planning to work and edit on the plane, so I brought my laptop in my backpack with me so that I could just have that easy access. My next tip is make sure you have a name tag on all of your bags just because you don't know what's gonna happen. What if your bag gets lost? Even if it's a carry-on, you never know. So I think it's always safe to have your name, your number, email address, or whatever on your bags. So something I'm gonna try this time because I've seen other people do it is to bring a face mask with me on the airplane so that I could do some in-flight skincare because it gets really dry up there. I think this will be just really fun. I'm actually looking forward to doing this. Another thing I'd recommend is to bring some cough drops with you or in my case, I have this like Chinese throat syrup. It's basically called loquat syrup and it's, it's like a honey texture where I will just eat it straight from the package. It soothes your throat. So I'm saying like in case you have a cough on the plane because it's really dry up there, like I hate to be that person who's coughing nonstop on the plane. So just in case. Another tip is to keep your phone charger with you at all times in your bag and also get an external charger because it will save your life. So most airports and some airplanes will have outlets so that you can charge your phone. So it's always nice to have your charger with you. I've been that person where I seen an outlet and I'm like, dang it, my phone's out of battery, but my charger's like up there or somewhere that's not on hand. My next tip is to always wear the biggest and the heaviest items of clothing with you on the plane. That way you don't have to pack like your big and bulky items. For example, this time I'm taking this giant blanket scarf, which is huge and takes up a lot of space, but it's gonna be my blanket on the airplane. And I'm also gonna take my big coat with me as well. If you're a frequent traveler and you always end up with like extra coins and extra money from all the different places you've traveled to, make sure you save them and organize them in pouches. So I've saved these euros and pounds from my last trip to Europe and I just keep them organized separately. I have like all my different currencies in different little pouches so that whenever I go back to that place, then I could just bring that currency back. My last tip is it's always good to bring an empty water bottle with you in your carry-on so that you can refill it at the airport or on the airplane because it's like really dehydrating to fly. Sometimes I'll forget to bring an empty water bottle so I'll just buy a water in the airport after security and everything because I need to have like a bottle of water while I'm on the plane because the water that they give is like just never enough. So I like to have my own stash, my own um, thing of water. All right, I hope you like today's tips on how to pack for travel. I've actually made a packing checklist that you can download. The link is below just to help you out and just for me to use for every time I travel because it's annoying to make a new list each and every time. So this is gonna save you a lot of time. So I'm also gonna make another video where I'm sharing my travel camera gear. So my camera gear for travel vlogging and taking Instagram photos. So if you wanna watch that, the link is below and in the upper right corner. I'll see you next time, bye.